sorry for the intervention. Uh, in the last uh, stage of this uh, slide, you see that how can those terrified hog fingers push the feed and clothing from her loosening thighs? That means it was not possible for Leda to get herself uh, rescued from Swan's attack. And how can Buddy laid in that white rush but feel the strange heart beating while it lies? So the, she had no alternative but to surrender, uh, surrender to sudden attack. A shudder in the loins engenders there. So the shudder means a, a trembling of let us let us the lower part of her body. It indicates that some kind of the culmination of the physical relation that in the loins and endangers there. And uh, that means Leda got pregnant after this physical union and she gave birth Helen, the beautiful, the most beautiful woman of this earth, who was married to Paris and next time kidnapped, she was married to Manilas and next time, next time kidnapped by Paris and became the cause of the Trojan War. And that line was indicated by this line, the broken wall, that means the broken wall of Troy. The burning roof after the uh, where the old city of Troy was burned, that means the burning roof and the tower. And Agamemnon did. So Agamemnon was killed in that great war. And also Achilles was killed. Hector is Hector, Hector was killed. Being so caught up, so mustered by the brood blood of the year, brood, brood blood, brood blood indicates that means that brood blood of the year, year indicates Jews. So, for the cause of the Jews' blood, which means the Helen, for such kind of physical union, Helen took, uh, took her bath, and, uh, and that brood blood became the cause of the Trojan war. But did she put on his knowledge with his power? Did she put on his knowledge? So there is an indication over here in the last lines before the indifferent big would later drop. So uh, WPH asked the question, he didn't answer the question. What is the question? That at the time of the physical union between Leda and Swan, that means only Leda got the physical strength from Jews or the knowledge. At the time, as, as, as actually, for the cause of genome sequencing or uh, for the cause of uh, what should, uh, gene, what should I say? That means the um, children might inherit the gene from their father and mother. So here, this question was asked by WPEX that uh, whether uh, Helen or uh, Leda got the physical power only from Jews, or uh, she got the knowledge from Jews as well. That was the question done by W. H. in this poem, and that question was not answered. Uh, but as we assume that uh, in the poem, uh, Leda gave birth Helen, that Helen became beautiful and she became the cause of the Trojan oil. There are some issues over here the, uh, that is the first issue that means the sex and violence. Leda and Swan depict the rape, of course. So this is an issue that Leda was uh, suddenly assaulted by the Jews. And 
And in one hand, we see that uh, there was a brutality of this poem. That means the brutality of rape done by Jews. But on the other hand, so other hand, we see the brutal consequence. That is the Trojan wire. So something brutal can end up with some another brutal incident. So if we say that if Jews wouldn't brutally rape Leda, Helen wouldn't take bath. And in the same time, the Trojan oil wouldn't happen. If, if Helen wouldn't get bath, then the Trojan oil wouldn't happen. So a brutal incident always leads to another brutal incident. And of course, this sexual violence is the central tension of this poem, as we see. And the poem neither condemns nor approves of Leda's rape. So such kind of incidents, uh, WBS didn't uh, approve or didn't deny. So he is, WBS is in the middle condition of this poem. And it seeks the enormous mythological significance. So mythological significance, again, I have said that for this great poem, uh, that is uh, the history is made, Greek civilization was uh, made. And also, it also proves that the we people are pa the puppets in the hand of God. That means we have nothing to do that later did, didn't have nothing to do against the Jews in the same, same time, uh, the people and the human race in the, great, in, in the uh, broad sense that they don't have anything to do against, the, uh, against fate. So other things you see that indication, we will be reading these details, okay, that is done. And another thing that fate and free will so the human being have been controlled by fate. And as I have said that uh, we are entangled with fate. We can do something, we can try. That means later tried a little bit against, uh, not little bit, later tried her best to get herself relieved from uh, Jews, but she couldn't. In the same way, we human being cannot uh, control our activities. Our activities and everything violence, everything has been, everything has been controlled by the great, great power that is God. And this is the, another uh, theme of this poem, and another important theme that history and transformation. So the Leda and the Swan, this poem is the moment where uh, Leda got some uh, transmission of power from Jews to um, to the human being, so God to human being. In the same way, this is the Trojan oil, as I have mentioned, the Trojan oil, the golden age of Greece and the modern age of art, literature and democracy. So such kind of inspiration they have got for this Trojan oil, because the Trojan oil pushed up their mental strength. And when a, 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 a person will be mentally strong. He or she can do anything. Physical strength doesn't matter, but the mental strength is the matter. So when a person is mentally boosted up, his physical, his or her physical strength might place, but for the uh, boost up mental spirit, he or she can do anything. So the great the Greek civilization, the Greek people didn't have the actual physical strength, but for the cause of the Trojan oil, their mental strength was boosted up and they became the one of the mighty and scholarly citizen or the civilization of this art. So that is another theme of this point. So thank you very much for attending the class and especially we are sorry for some uh, some